Hi, Allison Stanfield here with my teaching videos for Art Biz Success. And I want to talk about money and your art business. In particular, I want to dive into income sources for artists. It's not an easy topic for any of us to discuss. It's not even easy for me. And I lead the Art Biz Success learning programs and community. But I did go to art school. I started out as a painting major, eventually got my master's degree in art history, and then I worked in art museums for 10 years. And in art museums, the focus is on the object, on the art, as it should be, not ever on the market. But when I began helping artists a couple decades ago, I really wanted to help them succeed, however they define that success. And for many artists, it's necessary to make money to keep going. So this is the first of three videos in which I will discuss sources of income for artists. In this one, I'm gonna give an overview of income sources. In the ones coming up, I'll discuss possible income sources, how to categorize yours, and how to analyze the numbers. Let's get started. So how do artists make money? I would say for most artists that Selling original works of art, only original works of art, is their preferred way of making money. You get to make what you want, when you want it, and then find an audience for it. Selling only original works of art is like a dream for most of my clients, but there are real reasons to diversify your sources of income. The first is that maybe it's just not paying the bills. Before you do anything else, before you go changing everything around, I really want you to consider your pricing. Are you not profitable because you're undercharging or undervaluing your art? If you have questions about pricing, I encourage you to download my free report called How to Price Your Art. It's available to download with an opt-in at howtopriceyourart.com. And it probably will answer a lot of questions, although you'll never be 100% sure, but it will give you some guidance. So howtopriceyourart.com, that should be easy to remember. So maybe you can't pay the bills. Maybe it's not pricing. Maybe it's because sales are seasonal where you are. Galleries are shutting their doors or the economy might tank. Maybe you're not able to pay the bills through sales of original work only through no fault of your own. You have to look out for yourself. And that includes attending to your financial well being. Having a stream of income besides original work might be the way to go. You might diversify your sources of income because you enjoy creating new products. You just think it's fun. Or as some of my clients say, you want to have a line that's more affordable to attract new people. Or maybe you diversify your income sources because you love teaching. You know your stuff and people look up to you. You want to inspire other artists. Or maybe you're just bored and you're looking for a new challenge. These are all legitimate reasons to have multiple sources of income but you need to crunch some numbers. You need to be realistic about your available time and energy. And this is what we do inside of the Art Biz Success community and learning programs. Really thinking about what we have available, what works, looking at the numbers, not just looking at the sales numbers, but the profitability. So potential sources of artist income might include, but are certainly not limited to these commissions, teaching, which I mentioned, mentoring, coaching, products like G clays, cards, books, anything with your art printed on them. Maybe you want to look into licensing or writing or curating. All of these and more are available to you. And hey, if you are not already listening to the Art Biz podcast, I encourage you to tune in because I ask guests about their sources of income and my guests are very generous with their information. So tune into the Art Biz podcast wherever you listen. So how do artists make money? 
as I said, I'm going to be talking more about that in upcoming videos. This was an overview of income sources. I'm going to be talking more about those income sources, the possibilities, and how to categorize your income sources so that it makes sense for you. And by the way, if you only sell originals, you don't get into any of these other things, you still have different income sources. And I'll tell you what that means, how to break it down if you only sell originals. And we'll also look at how to analyze your numbers. Remember I said, it's got to make sense for you. You've got to be profitable. So tune in. These are coming up on the Art Biz Success channel.